Hello and welcome to my review of the Draper Small Axe. When I first started the channel, uh, almost five years ago now, um, I started off by uh, unboxing and reviewing uh, my knives. That's what I was into. And uh, a little while ago, I did decide to update all of those videos in 4K, as soon as I got myself a, a 4K camera. So that's what I'm doing. This is uh, next on the list. I did review this um, December uh, 2012, so a good sort of five years ago. What I'll do is I'll start off by uh, giving you some of the specifications and things. Uh, the thickness um, of the spine is 20.2 millimeters. The overall length is 12.7 inches or 32.3 centimeters. Their cutting edge is 3.1 inches or 7.8 centimeters. And the weight, it's uh, 28.5 ounces or 808 grams. So it's, it's pretty heavy actually for um, this size uh, kind of tool. Um, it's got this uh, cover uh, for the head of the ax. Um, it's quite a small ax really. Um, it's not it's not a medium sort of axe. There you go. That's the the edge on there You can sharpen that up with a with a puck or whatever um, It sharpens quite well. I've used this a fair bit um, Just in the garden and the grounds and uh, just chopping uh, small branches up and things like that I, w I wouldn't go sort of splitting logs with it um, it's possible, but there you go and um, that just gives you a little uh, image there it says 560 grams so um, I'm assuming that is the head that's 560 grams. Uh, price wise, I'll just tell you right now, when I first got this, I had a look at my orders and things um, back uh, five years ago, and this only cost me six pounds. Six pounds for an ax, that's remarkable. Nowadays though, um, if you go on Amazon, that's where I bought it from, uh, it is 14 pounds. So it's gone up by double and, and a bit um, in price. However, it does look improved. The, the grip looks nicer. Um, it just looks like a nicer axe overall. So if you were interested, uh, it is on there, 14 pound, you can't really go wrong. It's, it's still not a huge price, um, you know, for an axe. Feature wise, uh, I'm not really sure where it's made. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere on it. It doesn't say uh, China or anything like that. It says always wear safety glasses uh, when using the work area, but it doesn't really say anywhere. So that's sort of a downsize. Um, it's very sturdy and solid uh, little hatchet. You can really beat on it. You know, it's made by Draper. Uh, Draper do make um, some nice little tools. I've got um, a tire pressure gauge and I've had that for years and that's, that's excellent. Uh, it's stainless steel. The new one um, does say that it's a forged carbon steel head. So bear that in mind. Um, it seems, you know, varnished or polished, uh, very shiny, nice coating to it. And the sort of coating, the varnish, I think that is actually to chop through the wood easier. It came sharp. The, the cutting edge came very sharp. Uh, the handle, it's pretty grippy plastic, but as I say, the new one um, has these grooves in and I, I think is a, a bit better. The ergonomics, it's quite comfortable. Obviously, when using axes and things, I'd, I'd always use a pair of gloves, but still, it's quite comfortable. It's got a good good weight on that, um, that spine and that back of the, the head there. So, you know, it's got a good weight to it. Possible dual hand, looks a bit silly though, dual hand in it, but <laughs> there you go, it is sort of possible. Um, it's quite heavy and like, you know, that is a good thing, like I say. Um, yeah, for the price, you can't really go wrong. Uh, like I say, when I first got this, it was £6.50, but now it's, it's the £14 and you get this little, um, you know, protector, which a lot of axes don't actually come with. Um, and look, you can even put it on a belt. I have put it on my belt now and again. And uh, you know, that just aids with you just carrying it around. Um, so it's a great little hatchet. The comparisons I wanna make with it is uh, just for size, is I've got a Spyderco Urban, which is a less than three inch blade. And as you can see, that just highlights the, the size of the ax. Uh, I've also got a Fiskars X5, which I prefer, but it is a smaller axe. Um, uh, doesn't weigh nearly as much, I'd probably say not even half as much, um, but this is a, a much smaller little hatchet. Um, but uh, it's got this sort of uh, composite uh, fiber uh, grip that is hollow. So just bear that in mind, instead of like a full metal handle, uh, it's got this uh, metal that's through. And again, this is more of a chopper. The, all these kind of hatchet kind of things are, are choppers as opposed to, to splitters. Um, this isn't that sharp. Uh, 
but it's a nice smooth material. It's not as polished as that though. Um, but that just goes to show you uh, that comparison. Um, and then finally, uh, just, just for giggles, I've just got the uh, CRKT, which is a, a carbon steel, SK5 carbon steel um, Tomahawk. So, uh, which is, yeah, a little bit smaller. The head is uh, probably a little bit bigger on the, the Draper. Um, definitely got more of a rounded edge to it. Uh, whereas this is obviously dual purpose with that, that bladed edge on the top. Um, and the piercing uh, factor as well. And the fact that, again, this has got a full um, spine, full metal spine that can be easily, uh, where the grips can be easily sort of maintained uh, in the field with these easy um, Phillips uh, screws. Put some cord through there as well and, and on the, the hilt. So, but I thought it'd be interesting to just show you a, sort of a, a comparison between a little hatchet and then a, a tomahawk or the T-hawk. Um, so I hope that's helped. It's a fine little axe. Um, you can't really go wrong for the price, even at the newer price, uh, which is a it, which is an improved model for the fourteen pounds. Still a decent little axe um, for the price point, and you're not going to be too fussed if you chip it or if it gets too blunt or anything like that. Just for chopping up branches and things, or unwanted brush or uh, hedges, uh, this is going to um, work quite well. And maintaining it is going to be quite straightforward too. And that's all I really want to say about the uh, the Draper Small Axe. If you have one or if you've had one before, please do put it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.